Hi boys and girls. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to try to make an abstract watercolor painting. If you go on Flipgrid, you can learn about three artists who did abstract paintings. They're really pretty. And also there's some fun read aloud books on there as well that will help you learn about the artists. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are watercolor paper or heavy drawing paper, watercolors, paintbrush, water container, a straw, and a black Sharpie marker. First, start by waking up your watercolor paint by adding water to it. Then add uh, color to your paper by loading up your paintbrush with a lot of color and placing it on your paper. You may have to add more water to it. Then take a straw and start blowing the color around with the straw, creating lines moving in all different directions. Um, if you need to, you can add more color to the area with your brush and more water and then you can blow out more lines. Have fun um, with your straw and creating different movements of lines by blowing out the color. Repeat the same process but do it with a different color. Um, you can experiment mixing new colors in the lid of your watercolor paint tray. Um, remember to clean your brush before picking up a new color. Try touching a second color to the previous color and watch it fan out and make a new color. Um, think of the color wheel when you're mixing colors. Equal amounts of primary colors will make secondary colors, like red and yellow will make orange, yellow and blue will make green, blue and red will make purple. As you're blowing your color around, on your paper, you may notice some of the colors start overlapping and when they're still wet, they can create new colors, which is kind of fun. So just work around your paper, um, experiment with new colors and see how they mix together. Once you have filled your paper with a variety of colors, then you need to let this dry overnight. And once it's dry, you will come back and with a fine point Sharpie marker, preferably black, you're going to start to outline your colors. Once your painting is completely dry, then you're going to add Sharpie detail to your painting. Um, so grab a Sharpie marker and start by looking at a color and then take your time and gradually go around each color. This is just gonna add some extra detail to your painting. You do not have to do this step, but I think it makes it kind of all tied together if you connect it with a Sharpie marker.
You just finished outlining everything with Sharpie marker. Take a minute to enjoy your beautiful work of art. Once your outline is done, you have the option of adding some creative extra details to the negative space of your artwork. That's the space that doesn't have any color. So you could think of um, different kinds of lines you might like to use in there. Um, you can use straight lines, zigzag lines, um, lines that crisscross or overlap. You could do different types of patterns. Like, I don't know, I thought of a giraffe, so I did a giraffe pattern. Um, you can do um, diamonds or checkerboards, or maybe even want to think about drawing like a flower or some kind of leaves. It's kind of like a big doodle. So um, just have fun. Think of the space, what might live in the space, what's going to make you happy, um, and just turn your paper around as you go. Look at it from different sides. Have fun adding different designs. Be creative. You have now finished your abstract watercolor painting. I hope you have enjoyed our time together and had fun being creative with colors. See you next time.